I'm heading to pick up to Lewiston. It's finally getting bright out. The sun's coming out. I left the house at 4 a.m. for the pickup and then I got this picks up in Lewiston, delivers to Wallula, and I have another pickup in Spokane delivering to Longview, Washington, which is 50 miles north of Portland. So I hope all this goes well. No delays anywhere. That way I can get everything on time and unloaded right away. As long as they load me fast, we'll be just fine. If we got problems at loading slash unloading maybe at the first stop, then it's going to be something we have to deal with, I guess. But look at this beautifulness out here. And for some reason, I don't know why, it's been years, years and years since I've been to Lewiston. And all of a sudden, this, what, last month? I've been there, this is my, gonna be my third time going there. So I don't, kinda weird. You know, usually, <laughs> usually you kinda have same routine-ish, routines or whatever. It's been a little different this year. I mean, it's a good thing. I like driving this way. It's really pretty. All these hills, all these farmlands. After looking at some of this stuff, you start appreciating what these farmers do.
we're not even in Denver. That's it folks, here's the paper mill. It's a pretty big place actually. Um, you know, on camera it probably looks small, but facility is actually pretty big for the area. I've loaded here, unloaded here many times over the years. Haven't done it uh, for, I haven't done it for maybe three years, two years at least, haven't been here. But yeah, clear water paper is what it's called. And these are just contractors working on something over there. I got some cases from them. And it's going to go to the, probably the next job site. Is my guess. Some kind of batteries and something else I saw in there. So, yeah. A thumbs up supposedly like a like from the security at the gate so we're good to go um, now I gotta hurry 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 to Spokane pick up that second one and hurry up and go unload that Spokane to Wallula first and then I got a long view stop after that so we'll see We'll see how fast we can get these done. I'm just glad that the loading process went super fast. It's kind of kind of rare that when you have contacts like this that it goes smoothly, but right now it went smoothly. Look at these waves. Check that out. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but those are some good sized waves. Super windy here actually. Up on top it wasn't even as windy as it is down here. Snake River, everybody. Very known Snake River. Um, they do their walleye competitions here. Um, sturgeon fishing, couldn't think of the name for a second. Um, salmon fishing here. So it's, the, the river is actually very rich here with fish. I recommend. From what I hear, I haven't gone myself. I haven't really met the right person um, to go with, but from the guys that do go here, they say that um, they get fish, that it's fun, fun fishing out here.
so good news. FedEx plane never showed up with that load. It never flew in. So supposedly that freight is going to be arriving late tonight and may be ready for pickup tomorrow. They said come back tomorrow morning by noon uh, and you can take it. But it's all up to the broker and the customer. We have nothing to do with that. So, uh, for now, I'm just taking what I have now to where I need to go. Long delivers direct. Uh, going non stop. We'll be stopping to fill up and we'll grab a bike to eat. That's really all we got time for. We don't even have time for that. Since I made a loop on this one, four miles. Either way, keep you guys posted. If they want it tomorrow, tomorrow's fine. I mean, I drove two and a half hours there uh, to pick up this load two and a half hours back. Now I still have a um, six to seven hour drive uh, to Longview, unload, come straight back home empty, and if we need to go tomorrow, we'll go tomorrow again too. Money is money and we're not gonna turn it down. Here's how it looks outside, outside the camp. Super awesome, that's our Amazon building, right inside. We've got a ton of people working at Amazon. If you guys want to become Amazon employees, welcome to Spokane, come on in. They're hiring, always hiring. Eagle Express is hiring as well. If you want to do this job, the email address for the package is in the description. Go ahead and email that for a setup package if you want to be an owner operator, if you want to drive with us. We'll be happy to have you. Guys, the wind is just incredible here. I can't even hold the steering wheel. Look at those waves. Those are like ocean waves, man. It's been like this the whole freaking time I've been driving. I've been having to catch myself from one lane to the other lane. So this wind is so bad that it feels like this passenger door is really gonna open up and rip out. That's the that's the feeling I get. It's so loud in here. It's in, I don't know, unbearable almost. I've been in some wind, but this wind, whoo. And then uh, I've been in wind where my mirror glass ripped out. That bottom one's a new one already. And uh, yeah, it feels like this, this door, I don't know why it's that one, but maybe it's coming more from the side, but it feels like that one's gonna open up. Well, if it does, I got those right there. You guys get the idea. And look at all those white caps. See the white caps? The, uh, my fuel is going to crap here. I'm doing 75 hauling ass against the wind I'm talking head-on against the wind look at the grass <coughs> on the sides you can see that the wind is head-on yeah if I take the microphone off you will not be able to hear me that's how bad it is I'm I want to listen to how this how this sounds when I edit the video God. Woo. In every windmill, you see the windmills on the left? Every single one of those, they're all turning. At least they're getting electricity. All I'm getting is bad fuel mileage. Going up against the wind with this with this thing being who knows ten feet tall.
waves are crazy wind is crazy that drone doesn't want to stay in the air I put it up it goes way to the side it takes it all its force to do anything so I don't feel like you know losing a thousand dollars today guys I did what I could um, but it is beautiful here look at this look at 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 it says it's 64 it doesn't feel like it, it feels like 20 out here huh. all right let's keep going we still have a delivery to make I didn't even have time to stop stop here Somebody spilt their urine. I wonder who that was. Out of the urine bottle, somebody spilt that stuff. Okay. Feels like 20 degrees outside. Gee. Oh, man. Right. I don't know how these semi truck drivers are sleeping in here. Some of these guys are still resting. They're not even sitting in their spots. Okay. Hopefully we can still make that 4... 4 p.m. delivery. I'm gonna try. If you guys need something transported, you call Eagle Express. We'll get it done for you, even in the wind.
pulled into this parking lot. I wasn't sure. I thought something's happening, something interesting, but nothing interesting. About 12 cars here. Everybody's looking this way. What is this? Because of that guy? I don't know. Looks like some old, old piece of crap. Maybe they're taking it to, uh, to get it blown. Oh, they're waving. What is this? Huh. Interesting. What are they going to do with this thing? Go sink it? I don't know. Okay, keep on going. I honestly thought it was something interesting. That many people in the parking lot. not sure where I need to go. I think I need to call this contact first. I believe it's a contractor doing some work out here. All right, what, uh, Patrick Kennedy? I don't yeah. know. You do? Okay. Hopefully he has a radio. We got a gentleman out here with Eagle Express. Uh, he is. I got three cases from. He's dropping off some stuff for uh, Mr. Kennedy. Do around in the back, will you please? 10-4. All right. So those, uh, there is a service bay door in the back. After you turn that corner, okay. And go right there and look you up. Okay. It'll be this building here. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Gonna go in there? It's like three cases. Okay folks, everything happened super fast. Um, as you saw the three guys that met me, took the three cases away, signed it and I'm out of here two minutes later. Um, it's got to be a nuclear, I'm going to ask this kid, is if it's a nuclear plant or not. I guess we're going to find out. Let's ask him on the way out. All good? All good, man. Is this a nuclear one? I don't think so. I think it's got some sort of like steam power or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Take care. I guess it's not nuclear. All right, let's see. Go home or two. Let's go home from here. i
forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me small I love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you all I can think is my summer love We're waiting for you, my love My summer love We're waiting for you, my love I can't forget the day we met You look so fly in your red corvette Your hair, your look, your everything When I see it all I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine With my love you won't ever be alone Summer love, been waiting for you, my love. Completely a fool, been waiting for you, my love. Head over heels, I'm blinded by what I feel. My love is forever yours. You have my heart, you have my soul. You have my whole, you have my control Love me tender, love me sweet With you I know that I'm complete I'm in love with the summer's day For you I'd give my life away Never leave me, never let me go My summer love, been waiting for you My love, my summer love
pretty cool park guys Longview Washington it's actually very very big um, by the looks of it I recommend it it's ending over here but it goes a long ways back that I've already passed if you guys are ever in Longview come on by
Well, I did a flight for you guys here. Because when I was coming this way, it was raining here. These are some epic flights, epic views up here. That's the waterfall. This is I-84. Just outside of Portland, Oregon. Beautiful waterfall. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, this is what you need to subscribe to. Five hours and I'll be home. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. God bless, catch you guys on the next video.